Well, hell, I sure wasn't expecting the weather to go to crap. And maybe it's not for too long, but I done seen three spin outs. Uh, I don't know, Montana don't have no restrictions on traveling oversized with uh, snow and ice like a lot of states do. So maybe I should give it a few minutes and try to find an off ramp. But I don't think there's a truck stop within 100 miles of where I'm at. And it's the, it's don't look it don't look too bad, but in person, it's the snow is really heavy, and the I, and the ground is icy as hell. Normally, I would not worry about it, but with a twenty million dollar load on my deck, I'm pretty worried about it. So I think I'm gonna have to get off the road. The question is, where will I go? Da 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 da. Good morning, everybody. We're over here in South Dakota. Found blew a radiator line. So I'm gonna stop here and fix it. It's too cold to do a damn thing right now. So I'm gonna capture this beautiful sunrise back here that everybody calls golden hour. Every hour is golden hour if you're breathing. But let's get it. And then you don't know it now. Well, you do it now. But you don't know it at this moment, at that moment, I'm gonna do a live feed and nobody's up. What the hell? I got nothing else to do, right? Let's go. You heard what she said, didn't you? You got eight minutes and zero seconds of remaining drive time. Eight hours and zero minutes. You don't even know what she said. God, I'm retarded. <laughs> hey, everybody. We just did a live feed. Thank y'all all for tuning in. We had a good time. And thank y'all for running over and supporting Trucker Rudy and Trucker Jukebox and whoever goes next. I don't have no signal, so I'm making a video. We just met up with, who did we meet up with? Jeff Beard. Jeff Beard. That's right. I knew that. I just like to hear her talk. Oh, like I don't talk enough. I, you, I like hearing it. But anyway, and we had a good visit. And a good steak. Yep. And we met his dog. She's a big girl. We did. Uh, what'd you call her? What? I said a Marmaduke dog. Is that what you called her? Yeah, she's a big old Marmaduke. She's a great dame. Hey, everybody. I take care of Jeff Beard. Let me tell you, he's a handful. It took me for you. It took me years to get him properly trained. Whew. I don't know. I love that old boy though. He's 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 a pretty good human as far as that go. He he rubs my head and feeds me up good. I love my human. Y'all just saw her. Ain't she cute? Love them dogs. She's like twelve or thirteen years old. Hey, any of y'all in this area? If y'all need to hook up and get a little work done or whatever, y'all should call on Jeff Beard. He's your man. He's a good old hand. Jeff's wanting to he's get handyman. He's wanting to get his CDL back because he used to have one, but uh, he let it go. And uh, if any of y'all know of, of a good way with, without, you know, breaking the, the without that. breaking the bank or or having to work for Prime or something, you know, you know, on the down low, y'all can reach out to Jeff. You can find him down in the comments probably. He's a good hand think so? Mm -hmm. I don't think he's a serial killer or anything. But if he is... I hope not. We just broke bread with Jeff. Right. But he if, he, if he is, it's not nothing. my fault. You know, Jeffrey Dahmer was a good guy, they said. <laughs> All the serial killers are good Wait neighbors. a minute. I, I, I talked about... I just, I'm just going to say, you never know, right? Sometimes, are you pointing at something? Sometimes serial Walter, killers hide in the strangest places. 
Don't point at Walter. Just because we found him and he was lost doesn't mean he was running from his past. <laughs> you never know. Well, we got the truck all fixed up. We're ready to go. They managed to talk me into a new tire. I think the just one. I think the last one was fine. Hell, it had a slice in it, but I thought it was still good. It's had a slice in it for months. Right. It passed DOT inspection. <laughs> by golly. Hell, we should have kept it. Though we didn't need to carry that around. I got to go out here and turn the turn turn the flashy my, lights my flashy on. lights on. Here, y'all talk to the girl. I'll be back. I don't know what to tell her. Just talk to the people. Oh my goodness. I don't know what to tell tell you. <laughs> Little dogs down here bossing me now. Come here, buddy. Oh, do you want to talk to the people? Walter has a thing. He don't like sharing the chair with little dog. And little dog is a bully. Today, before I go to bed, I'm going to paint some more rocks. And that's probably going to be the extent of my day. I'm going to paint some more rocks. Oh, we left a rock at the loves. Did, we, did he show you that already? We left a rock at the loves. It was unicorn poo. And then I'm gonna go to bed because I'm gonna have to work. Oh. It may not be 25 degrees out there, but it feels like it. 18. Whoops. Did you hear him whining? What's he talking about? I don't know. I think he wants you. Oh, he's wagging his tail. Come here. I didn't go nowhere. Violence spread worldwide and there's families on the street. We sell drugs to children now. Why can't we just see that all we do is eliminate our future? Things we do today. Money is our incentive now, so. traumatizing the baby. Oh. Now he's going to growl at me. I'm sorry about that, guys. Phew. I anyway. have a squirrel over here without you rambling. I love that about you. Look at the cloud. <laughs> Look at the big bunk. Hey, yeah. There, there you go. That's just the right size. That'll be about our size, on it? Yeah. Mine might be a little bigger. Excuse me. Yeah. What are you doing over here making noises? Yes. The steak, I had a steak burp. <sighs> What's a steak burp? It's when you burp after you make steak. Oh, I don't have them. You don't burp? No. You're a good, fine, proper gentleman. I try to be. All right, we're going to go. I'll check in with you later. When I get to Wyoming, where I won't have any more signal. So there's no one to watch or listen to. we got to stop at the Wyoming... Port of Entry. Port of Entry and get our... Get a... Our Permit. permit. Yeah. Why is it that Wyoming makes you stop? Everywhere else we print them out. Wyoming, you got to stop and go in and get your permit. I don't mess with my mind trying to figure out the what's. I just go along with it unless I totally disagree with it. Then I break the law and go around. I'm okay with going in the Wyoming and buying a permit. It used to be, it's always been that way. See, for it used to be a little rickety wood building and a guy was standing in there and he had just enough room to stand out of the wind. Well, it's a real building now. They're uptown. I I went in there last time and got the permit. Would you like to go this time? No. I mean, you're going because you're on duty. I'm sleepering. I would let you go in there. They wouldn't mind. I probably wouldn't mind if you went This in port there. of entry has a nice old lady, though. She's well, she's probably retired now. I ain't been in there in a long time. All right, let's go. The doc is Grace eating. Walter's eating, and Grace is licking the camera bag. Oh. His eyes are still a little bit squinty. Bye, guys.
Street.